Welcome back to IM3. Uh, we are at The Aesthetic Show uh, 2017 in Las Vegas. I am Dave and I'm here with Dr. Shaw from Chicago. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you as well. Thanks for uh, taking the time to come out here uh, and sit down to speak with us. Um, how's Vegas uh, treating you so far? Uh, you know, Vegas, I'm actually been more on the calm end. You know, I'm with my wife. Everything has been uh, on the clean end. Nothing, uh -huh. uh, nothing illicit. <laughs> All right. Any, uh, any gambling? <laughs> uh, not a gambler, uh, not a drinker. So it's, I'm like the uh, wrong client for Vegas. Yeah. <laughs> That's perfect, though. You have to, you have to have that, uh, that mindset coming into <laughs> Vegas. <laughs> you'll, you'll go home happier. <laughs> <laughs> and perhaps richer than. <laughs> That's right. Uh, so we're at the aesthetic show. Uh, always a great show, a lot of energy, a lot of stuff going on here. Um, what are you uh, looking to uh, accomplish here at the Aesthetic Show? What are you looking to learn or uh, what, see? Uh, you know, so I, I came out here with my wife who specializes in uh, female health and I, I specialize in facial plastic surgery. So I think oh. the exciting thing about here is you have a synergy of so many different fields, uh, talking about things from regenerative medicine to uh, some surgery. Um, and uh, some non-invasive techniques. So it's, it's really things to complement my existing practice. Nice. Um, so you're, you're, you're a facial plastic surgeon. Oh, that's correct. Uh, what made you get into that? Uh, interesting story. You know, so I had my, uh, my uncle in England uh, was a head and neck surgeon. And so, uh, you know, kind of influential with me. And so that got me involved in anatomy of the head and neck. And I've always uh, been fascinated by how the, you know, the complex anatomy is there. Uh, and then I did a rotation, a medical rotation down in Florida. And uh, with a facial plastic surgeon, it was amazing. To me, it wasn't like work, it was like fun. Uh, this is like the, the best possible thing of uh, enjoying what you do aesthetically, uh, uh, but also helping people out re reconstructively. So it's, it's not like work, it's like fun. That's great. It's a, uh, you must be an artistic person too then. Uh, yeah. <laughs> kind of comes I, it, with the territory. Comes with the craft. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it does. Um, any uh, unique hobbies or interests that you have? Uh, you know, relatively boring things. You know, I, I ride a bike to work, a cycle cross bike. Uh, nice. You know, I'm into fitness. Usually fitness things that make me hurt. That afterwards I'm like, why did I do that? <laughs> um, so uh, right now I'm kind of into this uh, high intensity interval training. Yep. Um, but uh, nothing too exciting on that yeah. end. So. No, that's good though. I like to hit training too. I uh, do a lot of that at the gym. So <laughs> I, on, the, on the stair climber though. I have bad ankles so I have to just stay on the stair climber. <laughs> High intensity, low impact. <laughs> um, what, um, let me ask you something here. So uh, if you could go back in time uh, and visit your 21 year old self in Chicago, what would you tell him? What advice would you give him? Uh, again, I was not this uh, wild, out of control guy. I probably would tell him, you know, uh, uh, maybe be more on the wilder side because I've okay. always been sort of this steady uh, character. Okay. So uh, uh, maybe grow a mohawk, uh, <laughs> get an earring, get a tattoo because uh, you can't do that later on in life. Well, we are in Vegas. You could do all that tonight. <laughs> That's actually on my agenda. Did you see my? Uh, <laughs> nine That's funny. That's cool. Um, so going back to your practice, uh, what are your favorite procedures to perform? What do you like to do? Uh, so I, I think there's a variety of procedures. Mm -hmm. I think um, rhinoplasty is a big part of my practice, so reshaping someone's face. I think anytime you do surgery on someone and it doesn't look like they have surgery, it's, it's amazing and fascinating. Um, anytime you can change someone's confidence and you can yep. make them feel really good about themselves, but again, they don't look like they've had surgery. Um, so whether that's changing the nose, changing the face, making someone look younger, uh, but that's the real trend and that's the exciting part is creating someone, making them see the outside to see that inner beauty come out for everyone else to see. Yeah, I can see I can see you have a lot of passion for that. So uh, it's, you must be really good at what you do then. <laughs> well, that's great. Um, last question here. Um, what advice would you give a former boss? Uh, you know, I think with a former boss, a former boss for me in particular, um, I think a former boss is always, um, you know, being uh, as specific as you can is always helpful for making people reach goals. Keeping people motivated, I think, is important. Yeah. So having clear-cut goals and keeping people motivated and happy. So that's kind of the, the trend we try at work, and I think the trend that uh, uh, seems to be working everywhere. So what's the boss's name you were just talking about? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Well, I was 12, and it was at a fast food restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, well, thank you for uh, taking the time to meet with me, Dr. Shaw. I um, hope you have a pleasant rest of uh, uh, the aesthetic show. Okay? Awesome. Nice to meet you thank as well. You. Take care. Thanks.
Mm-hmm. <laughs>